Hi everyone, um, this is going to be the beginning of um, a playthrough of the Plutonia Experiment, um, a uh, game that my brother and I made a um, long time ago, I don't know, like 27 years ago or something. Um, I haven't played it in a really long time, um, could, you know, I don't even remember, it's got to be at least uh, 15 years, something like that. Uh, so. I recently got back into playing Doom and I played the uh, Plutonia 2 map pack um, and uh, had a lot of fun getting back into Doom so I thought it might be cool to come back and take a look at this one after so many years of reading people's feedback of how difficult it was and all that kind of stuff um, um, we'll see how it feels these days um, anyhow quick intro to Plutonia um, we have to go all the way back to the summer of 1995 um, Milo and I had been, Milo's my brother, uh, we'd been working on Evolution with Team TNT, which was like a collection of people in the Doom community. Um, we all came together to submit maps to put kind of this uh, mega map pack together. Um, and I think toward the end of the project, somebody on the team approached Id and said, hey, do you want to do anything with this and they ended up saying yeah finish it up and we'll publish it um, when the project was picked up by id um, things changed a little on the, on the team and all but four of uh, our maps were excluded from the project i think we had eight to ten submissions and i think they were in there at some point but they got removed uh, in some instances they were too difficult others reasons unknown to us. Uh, so anyhow, um, we had these maps sitting around, um, so Mila and I decided to continuing, uh, continue building new maps to complete a challenging 10 map single player set um, and release it for free. Because at the time I was at college and we actually had an internet connection there which I didn't have at home. I uh, remember this was 1995. I think we had like a 28 8 modem or something at home where everything was excruciatingly slow. Um, so since I had a connection at, uh, at uh, college, I said, hey, let's put this map together, map set together and release it before I uh, leave college. So anyway, uh, November 10, 1995, we were finished with that map set. Um, we were really proud of the maps that we'd made and so on a whim, I emailed them to Sean Green at id Software, um, just in case they could find a use for them. Um, Sean promptly emailed me back and said, uh, if we can make another 22 by Christmas, id would release it alongside Evolution and Final Doom. Well, so obviously we're overwhelmed and excited, um, but we realized we only had six weeks to build, test, and finish 11 maps each. Um, which turns out to be one map every five days. So we got to work. Um, it was an exhausting six weeks, but we worked long days and nights, obsessing over finding something new we hadn't done before, being inspired and driven on by each other's work and by the idea that it was going to publish it for us. Uh, as time went by, the haze of exhaustion and tiredness never put a dent in the excitement that id had put their faith in us to deliver a solid product and the pride that our work would be in a box on shelves for the first time ever after many years of building stuff uh, prior to this project we'd spent years building doom maps playtesting them with friends at local LAN parties then finally sharing them over bulletin boards where we interacted with the early internet doom community we were always really excited to share our work and to get feedback about what was working and what wasn't. We also obsessively consumed whatever other Doom mods we can find. Anyhow, uh, once all the maps and textures were done and the final file was sent to id, I don't think Mila and I booted Doom up again for weeks. We were just totally spent. It was such a privilege to have our work published by the company whose work we'd admired for all those years. It was a dream come true for sure. We'd gone from playing endless hours of deathmatch, to building maps to keep things fresh, to bringing them to LAN parties, to publishing an entire 32-map single-player campaign through id, 
I wouldn't have believed it a year prior, but it was a sweet journey which ended up being just the start of nearly 30 years of making games for me. Um, and it was definitely starting with a bang. Um, so anyway, that's the brief history of this, how this thing came to be. Um, so now I want to play through and see how this feels after so long and see if I have the kind of trouble with it that um, I've had so much feedback about. Um, so let's see. So I'm going to do ultraviolence and here we go. See, this doesn't seem difficult at all. This seems quite quiet, really. Um, throughout this playthrough, I'm going to <laughs> there's no way I'm going to remember where all the secrets are, which is pretty shameful, but it has been a long time, in my defense. was made by Milo, um, and it was actually one of the first maps we built, I think. I think this was one of uh, the maps that was in the original um, set before we even talked to it. I do remember this secret. Also not terribly difficult to find. Him anytime I try to uh, kill him. Uh, I don't remember what's down here though. Imps. Ah. No. Holy. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can find some health. Uh, no, that, I'm gonna find death that direction. I don't think I find any other health. Alright, well, must just not get hit then. Ah, can't get through here anyway. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I never saved at the beginning of this. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the other one got killed. Now, either that, I think that's what just woke up the arch vial, so there's no point in killing him. Oh, there he is. This isn't going to be easy doing that. Uh, uh, you know what? Let's do Plutonia 01. Um, yeah, if I'm going to be able to get to the Revenant area without getting. Ah! Wait, is this even. This is the right way. Okay. Is there any health in here? Nope. <laughs> oh, cool. This is going to require a bit of a miracle. Oh, look at that. Thank you, Milo. That's going to make everything easier. Let's try and get you out a little bit. Come on out, please. Idea sound, I just have to wait for all four to come out. Come on. Out. All of you. Okay, there you go.
Okay, got the rocket launcher. Uh, and then when we were making these maps, we weren't thinking that, okay, map one has to be a walk in the park. Um, we wanted a challenge from the very beginning. No maps that you would just breeze through like they didn't exist. Uh, which challenged the convention of a map one totally. Uh, oh, thank you. Um. near to death, but maybe not. Okay. Much needed health. Missed it. <laughs> Can I get there? Just. Alright. Um... Okay. Oh yeah, I remember this bit. Um, I think there's a pain elemental here somewhere. And look at you. And where is the revenant? There he is. the design of this map is really clean, really elegant. Okay, don't need you yet, but I know there's a pain elemental that comes out of this hole. Or maybe, yeah, there it is. Just as I was talking about you. Damn it. This tomato got in my way. I only want the potato for now. Ooh, that was uh, good timing. The bullet's running out. I could use health. Well. Oh, sh Pay for that, fatty. <laughs> Think that's it for oh, that's not gonna help. Ah, that looks like a secret. How do I get to that? Not like that. Um how do I do it? Oh, uh, you know what? Maybe it's through back here. No? Well, you can tell I haven't cheated at all by looking at a playthrough or anything. Ah, oh, you know what? Maybe it's this way. Maybe when I come through there I can get it. Okay. Um, because I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, and the red key, I believe, was back... Or was it? Was it through here? Yep, yeah, okay. Yay. This map doesn't feel too evil so far. I'm sure when I hit this button, things will change. What is that going to let out? Aha! Oh. The thing about these traps so far is I can respond to them and uh, run away if needed, rather than just spawning these guys in your face with no warning. 
but we weren't too mean. So this... Now how do I get to that secret? Hmm. And can I be bothered to kill that? No, I can't really. Um, so this isn't going to be a full 100% playthrough because I just don't want to do that. Um, take too long. And I want this to be a, like a first impressions playthrough anyway. So um, yeah, I really like this map. I always really liked the the elegant simplicity of the maps that Milo made. They were always he always paid attention to the design and the flow, uh, a little bit of uh, mirroring, and um, yeah, I really really like this map. It's a really oops, solid beginning to uh, the map sequence. Also, Milo invented this thing as well, the uh, the entry and exit teleport little structures. Again, really, really simple, um, but sort of elegant and really works well. Um, so we have him to thank for that. Anyway, let's see, uh, on to the next one. <laughs>